What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World and what you're looking at right now is the free DK Metcalf that you get from completing the challenges that are available as part of the NFL Combine promo. I want to note that there are a lot more things that you can get from completing those challenges but right now we're going to focus on this because I've been getting some comments about some of you guys being new to the channel. Shout out to all my veterans that I see uh, you know giving some insight into these players explaining to them about the power up passes why I'm saying certain things are free. You guys are the real MVPs bro because without you guys I wouldn't be able to manage the channel in the way that we're doing it because if everybody doesn't understand and they're not getting the feedback you know as frequent as you guys respond sometimes it kind of puts them in a situation where they have to go elsewhere and you guys really help me out by answering those questions and explaining a lot of the things that I'm doing just by coming through because a lot of you guys didn't understand it to begin with and then now I've kind of helped you guys to understand it and then you guys are rocking your teams are getting better so let's continue to pay that forward so for those of you guys that are Seahawks fans, you guys are going to be probably very excited about the fact that EA chose him as the uh, Combine Conqueror. And, um, you know, looking at the card right now, this is the base card that you get. All right. Now, you have a couple options. For me, this guy can't sniff my team. Dude's garbage. But for you, he might work. Also remember, he does not have a power-up, nor do I think if he got a power-up, EA would maybe allow this to go into the set. You know, EA does a lot of weird stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's possible they would do it, but it doesn't really matter, all right? This is what we're going to go over right now. I'm going to explain to you what you have to do inside of the challenges to get this card to start with. But before we go ahead and go back to that, because we just finished doing those solos, I'm going to simply go through this part right here as far as uh, the training aspect of getting him to the point where you're going to need some of the cards that we're going to have to actually make. So you'll see, add the Combine Conqueror Strength Token to upgrade ratings, add the Speed Token, and then add the Dedication Token. Now, a lot of you guys are like, yo, what is that? What's going on? How am I supposed to get that? All right, cool. It's going to always usually be found within sets. So when you start to get confused, this is the one thing that I learned when I first started playing much so many years ago. You got to look for things yourself before you ask any questions. Like, just look first. You know what I'm saying? Because once you look around, sometimes you'll find it a lot easier and then you'll learn and you start to teach yourself. And then you come to channels like this and get a little bit more info and it just makes you that much more of a veteran player. So we've added all of that to him and then now we know we need those other uh, specific tokens to get him upgraded fully. So we're gonna go ahead and back out of it and then you're gonna go ahead and see the screen which shows where we were just at and how we were completing, uh, you know, getting that DK Metcalf card. So let's go right now, we're gonna back out, we're gonna go to the milestones. Now, you see that the next milestone is 108, which means you'd have to get 108 stars to get a free 89 to 93 overall combine standout. If you guys wanna go that route and try to help yourself uh, get Deion Sanders in another fashion other than the way that we've got him, because we got him for free by using our power-up pass, and many of you guys have already seen that video, if you want to go this way, this can help you to get them. Um, if you don't want to go this way, I would grind to Mutt level 90 and then go from there and use that so that you don't have to spend any you know, currency at all because it's actually a very simple upgrade if you already have Deion Sanders powered up to the max. All right, so pretty much that's where we are with that. We played whatever amount we needed. I think it was like 24 to get the DK Metcalf. Now, you got these dailies, all right? This is what happens with this, right? Make sure you get these done because these have different type of things that they're going to give you once you unlock everything. When you go down, you have the option of getting certain free cards, free aspects that will go towards uh, what's going into the, um, the actual sets for Deion Sanders and, uh, you know, Amari Cooper, all that stuff. It's a lot of various um, things that you can do to help yourself. Uh, get this stuff done and you see like it's rushed for 40 yards it's simplistic stuff so it shouldn't be that difficult to get this stuff done we will go back to that but i just wanted to point that out it starts today make sure you're getting those dailies done it will definitely help you going forward now with the rest of completing his set we're going to go over to the actual exchange set with the combine and we're going to go ahead and decipher what's needed to get him to that level like i said i have no interest at all zero in keeping this guy on my team um, for me, it doesn't make any sense. And again, I don't really care about it, but at the end of the day, it may help you and your squad. And that's all that really matters. All of our teams are not going to be the same, but we're going to build it similarly. But maybe you like Amari Cooper for some reason. Maybe you like, maybe you have a Raiders theme team. Maybe you got a Cowboys theme team. For me, he couldn't even sit on any of the chairs in my actual locker room. 
dude's garbage in this game. So we're not rocking with that. Now, here goes the uh, Combine Conqueror tokens. All right. You got to trade in two 85 to 93 overall Combine standouts to earn a fantasy pack with all three com Combine Conqueror tokens. And you choose one which means that you're gonna need a total of six of these cards, all right? So the combine standout, some of you guys are like, yo, what does that mean? What's going on? What is this about? All right, you go here, right? And this is what I'm gonna ask you guys to do. Take a look at the prices, right? Because look, this is what happens. For you to do it, you're gonna have to times this, like I just said, by six. So it's gonna cost you 60K to complete this set, all right? This is what's gonna happen though. After you complete the set, I'm gonna show you guys as we go through it, because I don't want them, I can earn a random 93 overall net combine standout that I can use in a set later. You see what I'm saying? So that way, like, say I wanted to complete this set or I want to wait for Denzel Ward or whoever. It won't matter. So let's go through that right now to kind of show you guys what's happening. So with the rate that they're going at right now, and you see people buying them, all right, maybe we can snag this one for 99. All right, we got him. Maybe we can go, like, you know what would be easier? You see like how we got him for 99? I don't really want to spend more than 10k for it but for the purposes of the video you know we could keep going and doing it but let me just show you another way that you can go about doing it once you snag a card like that and you think that the price may remain the same do me a favor i taught this to myself once you get it i would probably get like two of them right and then you go into your actual item binder and then what you do is you just select the you click the l1 button and you see the rates that he's going for. You see like how all of his prices are lower and then you just buy them from this aspect and that way you stay at the lowest level and you never really go above a certain amount. I taught myself this a couple years ago once they started allowing us to see the prices and I always save coin currency. I know that some of you guys uh, don't watch all of the videos like you say you do, but I've shown you guys a lot of tips and tricks that I wouldn't share with you know anybody else but you guys. So I want you guys to kind of have the insight. Maybe you guys have already been doing it, maybe you haven't, but now you know it. So there is no reason for you to continue to search within the actual sets and spend 10K and spend all of this when you don't need to because they're giving you a wide range from 85 to whatever. So find the cheapest card, buy it, and then go into your binder and just keep selecting it and um, you know paying for it that way. That way you stay under a certain amount. All right, so now that we have those six, okay, we're gonna go out, we're gonna go back to the actual set that we were in, and then we're gonna complete it. Now, at, oh, that was 8,000, uh, we could've got that one for 8K. All right, hopefully one of you guys get it. I would love for you guys to start getting them for cheaper. Let me know how you guys make out with that new method, but let's go back into the set, all right? Now we're gonna go and we're gonna put the Combine Conqueror to, uh, thing there together, all right? I think we probably got one more than we had to, right? Because we already had the other one, or maybe, no, we didn't. All right, whatever. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. It's, it's the collectible pack. So we need one of each thing. So we know we have to get, we gotta get strength, speed, and dedication. So we're gonna take the strength first, and then you guys are gonna do me a favor and remind me throughout the video which one I got, because obviously I'm gonna end up doing the wrong thing, and everybody knows about it, all right? I'm gonna probably get the same one twice. I don't remember what we just got before. What was that, strength? You know how you do it, and you're like, yo, I know what it is. I know what it is. And then you go to it, and you completely forget, and then you get the same thing twice. It's happened to all of us. So we got the strength. We're gonna get to speed. After we get to speed, now all we know, we need dedication. All right, so we go ahead and we get the dedication and we should be done after that. And we're gonna go ahead and put it into that upgrade set for the, uh, the DK Metcalf. And then like I said, because I have no use for him, he would turn into something else that we need for this. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. I don't really care about it, but it's, but it's nice. All right, so look, we have all three. We get out of it, now that's done. Keep in mind, like I said, the player exchange, 93 overall net, we can use it on this, we can wait later, whatever it is. But again, I don't really care about um, the actual DK Metcalf card, so that's probably gonna be the option that we're gonna choose. For Amari Cooper, I'm not going to do that, all right, just so you guys know, I'm not, you know, to get that Amari Cooper right now is not really like, you know, something that I care about, even though we can get three Amari Coopers and then, you know, that, that also can go to Dion because you can use all three to get the Dion. It doesn't matter. It's any of them, any of the 96 overalls. But just for right now, only the Amari Cooper is available in the set. So if you wanted to do that, that is something you can do um, and, you know, possibly get them for a lot cheaper if that was something that, um, you know, you were interested in doing. So we'll go ahead. We'll add all of the, uh, the tokens to the Conqueror and then we're going to end up with the 96 speed DK Metcalf, which, what, you know, what we have right now. Is it a chance 
that he might be able to put in work and do some things for us to where we could probably utilize him. I love that beat press, okay? Um, giving him go deep chemistry would probably give him, uh, what would he go to? He'd probably get the plus two plus the John Madden. He would go to 98 beat press, but he would be a 97 speed with John Madden coach. You know, he's 6'3". Does height really matter in the game? We know it doesn't. What are we gonna do with the guy? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's realistically nothing we could do with him. He does get superstar X Factor abilities. He gets the Moss. He gets the double me. He gets all that. He gets two abilities um, instead of the three, which is kind of weird. Um, maybe he's gonna get another card down the road. I don't know uh, which way it'll work. But again, if you have no use for that card, uh, if you feel like, you know, this guy DK Metcalf is not somebody that you're gonna want, you simply go and you trade him in. And that's it. Because like I said, we know that we have no use for him, but you know, like I said, regardless of which way you wanna go with it, maybe, I, I guess we have to put him in there. Because like, I'm not gonna want him anyway. And even if we do, like, let me just point this out as well. Just so you guys, some of you guys are wondering, what if we put him in the exchange set and then EA gives him a power up? I highly doubt that even if EA gives him a power up, that that card would be part of it because they wouldn't make it so that you could not get the card. So what would happen is you would probably have to use training in his place to do that. So this is what we're gonna do. Because we know that we don't want him for my team, we're gonna put him in the set. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our random, you know, combine, that standout, whatever it is. All right, because it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, we got a 93 though. Oh, low key, that's one of the high tier ones. Low, low, extremely low key. 6'6". Six, six. Can you imagine this guy in Madden 15? Oh my God. Bro, that guy in Madden 15? Oh, wow. All right, so look. the re So now you can kind of see what's going on. We could actually start going through this and creating combine standouts and then using this to create, uh, you know, Amari Cooper. We also have uh, the milestones that we could do in the challenges to get another one as well. Um, if you guys wanted to go along that route. But you can see right there, the 85 to 87 combine standouts, you can see we just spent like the 9K for each one. So that's about 63, 70K for just that aspect. And then you need another four for each one for Amari Cooper, which is why Deion Sanders price is around 600K right now. So you can make the decision on however you want to do it, um, you know, going through it. Do you want to use some of the cards you already have right now and create more of them? Because these are, these are random, but what the reason that I'm showing you these sets is because people are going to actively be probably do okay this guy probably can't go in that all right so we'll go ahead and put him there and then and then it's, you just need one of that for each time so you could pretty much make out because you see we have 41 of these cards you know what i'm saying so there's a lot of cards here that are straight garbo that we could use uh for different things terrell sucks that dude is definitely trash all right so this would be another key way to make a lot of coins because we just got lucky with that nat more than likely ea is not going to give us something that is going to make that much Okay, see, you see what I'm saying? You see how EA does us? So they gave us that one as a gnat, and then the ones that we can sell, they'll give us garbage. That's pretty much what would happen. I was just about to say that, but you know, EA just came out of nowhere and showed us what it's about. Uh, they're like, yeah, take that gnat right quick, but that's all you're getting. So let's try it again, just because we only had one more of the other thing, and let's see what happens there. Let's put a T, okay, TJ Watt might low key get um, upgraded. We gotta just, uh, Cam Newton, we're not worried about. All right, okay, McColt, we'll leave you there. Okay, uh, is that all? Is that four? All right, so we'll open up another one. So with everything that we have right now, you can decide how you want to do it. It's up to you. But you see what EA is doing, right? Giving out straight 85s. So for right now, we know that we get 9K per. So what I'm going to do is because we just gave up all those cards and everything else that went with it, we'll go and just sell both of them for the 93 that he was selling for and just get rid of them. Or we could go 89 just to, you know, whatever it is, it is. But then we still know that we have this guy. There's 93 overall. Now, would you take the training? Probably not. I would probably use him in another set. All right. What, what other set? Maybe the team of the year or maybe they'll drop something else later, but I would hold on to it. But for now, this dude's garbage. We don't really need to have him around here right now. So we can go ahead and say, you know what? Let somebody else complete their DK Metcalf. Let's put this guy up for cheap and see how it works out. And then we'll just take the 18K. We'll take our L's because EA Sports don't care. And we all know that. And if you get lucky and pull one of the other cards, then obviously you're going to be in the money. All right. But most of us are not going to get that lucky. So it's not that big of a deal. 
If you guys are wondering, okay, this guy right here can actually get sold as well. We'll take the 200 training because we don't need you no more, the NFL Combine guy. If you guys are wondering what sets you would use that 93 that we just got for free in, if we didn't want to go ahead and you know complete any of the other NFL Combine, like I said, the team of the year is pretty good. Um, the defensive one, I've been getting decent stuff from it. Now, obviously, you know, you can look at this right here and see that we would need four more things. You can hold on to it. Just hold on to it then. Uh, because right now, there realistically isn't that much coming out of anything, including this one right here. Because to complete this set and do all of the stuff the, the way that EA wants you to do it, it probably realistically is going to cost you a lot more than all of us are willing to pay. So we could go ahead and finish up our Nats, get everything else done and see how it works out. But 52K, you know, like, and why is this guy so much? Marcus, what? He's 93.64? Yeah, what if height really mattered? No, nah, no, nah, we good. We're not gonna do any of that. That's all foolishness. So like I was saying, the 50K per, uh, per price average would probably give us uh, this Amari for about 270, 260 on average if you were to do this set. So you do the math and then that would, that's what you would end up spending to go get the Deion Sanders. Now, mathematically, if you were to go through all of the stars and get the other Nat Pack and then do this with all of the math that we know now and then get back three Nats, okay? If you were to do that, that probably would make sense because you could definitely go ahead and sell off all the other Nat uh, Combine stars and get all your currency back and it'll be a W. But you would have to grind through those missions uh, and challenges to get that stuff in order to make it work because you'll get the stuff back obviously because you would only have to realistically spend for about the other two Amari Coopers uh, in that set, get the Dion, sell the Dion, all right? And then even if you completed the set now um, and you, it didn't cost you as much because you got some of those other players uh, from playing the, uh, playing the challenges, you could definitely go ahead and take the power up pass off of Dion and use it on somebody else and just make your currency back. So there's a lot of different uh, avenues you can go with this. I do like the way that they've done it so that everybody will have a chance to do it and you have a pretty good chance of getting some of the higher overall cards from just simply playing the challenges. All right, so that's all the information I have for you guys right now. Let me know if you plan on keeping DK Metcalf. What's your deal? Leave it all in the comments. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. Hopefully you're having a blessed day. Until next time, one love, y'all.